might be super dramatic, but I'm going to post it anyway. So I was recently filming content for social media with a totally different topic in mind, but then I saw this. And yeah, you might be like, Bridget, that is so minute. How in the world, as someone who is like just getting started working out, how is it possible for me to be able to focus on something like that or like think about something that small? But let me tell you, it is not small. It is not small. It might look really small on me because I work out a lot and I've trained myself and blah, 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 blah. Lots of things that you see in normal like personal trainers. Um, and I probably should have recorded an example of like hyperbole or like uh, over exaggerated example of it. But here we are. This is real. This is real life. Even now as a trainer, I am still thinking about this and engaging my core. So today we're going to be talking about rest supports for and during exercise. Hello, my name is Bridget Carl. I am a trainer, kettlebell specialist and actress here in New York City, and I am creating a safe space, positive space, to teach you how to lift and become the most powerful version of yourself. Today, we are talking about bracing your core first. So, when a coach, if you're in a class or if you're with a trainer, tells you to engage your abs or squeeze your core, breathe out, squeeze your core, most times people are like, oh yeah, show, I'm gonna show off my six pack. Cool not really what we're looking for. I mean, yeah, like do that, like squeeze, show me your six pack, but that's not necessarily why we're cueing you to do that, right? We don't necessarily care about your six pack right now. What we care about is you bracing your core because it's actually gonna fix major structural things in your form to help you perform the exercise. So now look at this again. If you blink, you're gonna miss it, I promise. Like, take a look at this. I'm gonna set myself up in the bent over position and you're gonna notice, notice my small, the small of my back and then also my abs. Right, so as I'm prepping to lift the bell, you're gonna notice my abs get tighter. My low back flattens out, creating a neutral pelvis position, which is gonna help support my low back as soon as I lift that weight up. It's also helping me slightly shift my weight backwards into my heels, which then loads up my hips, and then I can send them forward, which is the goal of a clean. Oh my gosh, that was so much stuff. <laughs> Let's look at it again. So notice, once I braced my core and created that neutral pelvis, my core and my whole like, upper body is locked and loaded. It also helped me shift my weight back into my heels to load up my hips and it protected my low back because it put all of the weight of that bell into my hips. So it's not just about showing the floor your six pack, whoa, or whatever you wanna think. It's about fixing the three other things and being in control of that weight versus the weight being in control of you, right? It's a total body exercise, baby. And if anybody tells you anything else, forget about it. <laughs> Um, and I can make another video about the importance of a neutral pelvis and like what a neutral pelvis is if you um, are curious about that. But for right now, we're gonna practice two extra other exercises to help you find it in other positions. So go ahead, lay on the floor. From here, I want you to firmly plant your feet onto the wall. You might have to scooch forward, and that's a technical term, scooch. Scoot your booty forward towards that wall. Once your legs are at 90 degrees, and your knees are right above your hips, I want you to practice pushing your feet into the wall and then isometrically pulling them down. So don't actually move your feet, just push and then pull them down. From there, I want you to push your lower back down to the floor. So exhale as you tuck your pelvis up and under. Then we're gonna find the opposite. So I want you to lift your ribs up and away from the floor, still keep your feet firmly planted on the wall, but I want you to find as much space as you possibly can behind your lower back. What we're doing here is we're finding the outlier positions. Does that work, work here? Like outlier, like the opposite ends, right? We're going to the opposite ends. Um, you get it, whatever. Okay, so we're finding the extremes. That's my word, that's my word. Okay, so in order to be able to find neutral in this position, you have to find both. So neutral lying down is actually with your back firmly pressed against the floor, right? So get comfortable with that. Before I move on, like or subscribe to this if you like my coaching style. Ah, would love to see you in another video. Okay, flip over, find a tabletop position for a cat cow. So from a tabletop position, inhale, drop your belly, look up towards the sky, roll your shoulders down and back. Exhale, round your spine, drop your head, tuck your pelvis up and under, push the ground away to make even more of a rounded spine. This is relatively about the same thing that we just did on our back. Now we're just flipped over. And in this position, you're actually gonna be able to find more range of motion because you don't have the ground stopping you, right? Which is great. However, once you find those two outlier positions, then find that neutral spine, pretend you're pressing your, ground, your low back against the ground and find that neutral. Now, before I let you go, I want you to get the most out of this. So I'm gonna throw some vocab words at you. When your belly is low, your butt is high, you are, have an anterior tilt in your pelvis, right? 
Now, the other way, if you round your spine, you squeeze your butt, you have a posterior tilt. Our ideal is finding neutral. Everybody's body is different, so film yourself from the side and try both of these, all three actually, posterior, anterior, and neutral, and see how it feels in your body and see what you look like. These are also great exercises to do before your workout to warm up your body, get yourself prep prepped for exercises that you're going to see that neutral pelvis engaged core in, which is pretty much all of them. So, let me know if you have any questions. Have a fantastic day. Give these a try. Incorporate them into your workout, and I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye!